In the tiny Pacific paradise of Guam, Operation Iron Island is underway. As China ramps up its military capabilities in the region, U.S. forces are testing the Iron Dome, a defense system capable of firing missiles that intercept short-range threats like rockets, mortars, drones, and cruise missiles. It's not that big. No, it's not. And then you can tell how big the interceptors would be, right? By right. Little, little pods. Right. Chief Warrant Officer Caroline Soprenant specializes in the Army's missile defense systems. She says the Iron Dome could provide a new layer of defense as threats in the region grow. What are these interceptors capable of doing? While the platform is fixed for the missile firing unit, you'll see that the interceptors are able to maneuver towards the threat. It's the same system Israel uses to shoot down rockets from Gaza, and it has been 90% effective. Testing of the Iron Dome here comes just months after a top military leader warned that Guam's defenses are inadequate against threats from China. Guam is a target today. It needs to be defended and it needs to be prepared for the threats that will come in the future. So what exactly is the Army testing? And would the Iron Dome be enough to protect this U.S. territory, which is playing an increasingly important role in America's strategy to counter China? It's often said that America's day begins in Guam, a volcanic island just 36 miles long and blessed with lush mountains, beautiful beaches, and stunning sunsets. West of the international dateline, Guam is roughly one-third the distance to China and North Korea as it is to the mainland United States. And the military bases on Guam are the closest on American soil to the places where China has been exerting military influence, in Taiwan and the South China Sea. She was here uh, two commanders ago. As a result, military officials say Guam's strategic importance is growing. What role would Guam play in the event of a conflict? In the event of any military uh, operations for the United States in the Pacific region, uh, Guam plays a role. Rear Admiral Benjamin Nicholson oversees all U.S. forces in Guam and Joint Region Marianas, part of what the Pentagon says is America's priority theater and a region in which the military says China is a top concern. What does it mean when you hear the Secretary of Defense say China is the number one pacing threat? You always want to pace against whoever's the fastest runner, whoever can go the longest, the farthest. That's where you set your pace. And in today's environment, that really becomes China. They're doing the most buildup. They're doing it the quickest with the most advanced weapons. Admiral Nicholson and other officials we spoke to said that the Iron Dome's deployment is fulfilling a congressional requirement and is not a direct response to China. But it comes as the Defense Department released new details about China's growing nuclear capabilities. China has been expanding its nuclear arsenal much faster than previously thought, according to a recent Pentagon report. Beijing could have about 700 nuclear warheads in the next six years. And defense experts say some of the weapons it's been testing could potentially complicate U.S. defenses. According to the report released in early November, China may have already established a nuclear triad, the ability to launch nukes from the air, land, and sea. Beijing is also developing new MIRVs, intercontinental ballistic missiles capable of delivering multiple warheads to multiple targets. The term MIRV is an acronym for Multiple Independently Targetable Reentry Vehicles. And over the summer, China surprised U.S. officials when it tested a hypersonic missile that orbited the Earth before maneuvering toward its target. While the U.S. still has roughly 11 times more missiles than China, according to the Federation of American Scientists, the buildup has alarmed some military leaders. And while the Iron Dome wouldn't be capable of defending against some of China's more sophisticated missiles, it could be used to counter the country's growing fleet of bombers that are able to launch cruise missiles in the event of a conflict. Guam has been threatened before. In 2017, North Korea said it would fire missiles at Guam. And in a video released on social media last year, China's Air Force hinted that a U.S. base on Guam could be a target. Walking around the naval and air bases here, which the Wall Street Journal was given access to, it's not hard to see why an adversary might take interest in the major military facilities and assets that would play a key role in a confrontation. What do you say to locals here who are concerned that the more service members and more assets arrive on Guam, the more Guam becomes a target? We actually had a lot more people here during the height of the Cold War. I wouldn't necessarily would, uh, say that it would make us more of a target, but um, certainly uh, we put enough assets here. It also makes it um, uh, easier for us to defend the area when we have additional resources here. 
Guam is already home to a key missile defense system, which we were invited to film along with the Iron Dome. Just a few hundred yards behind Iron Dome is the THAAD launcher, the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System. And a big reason why Iron Dome is here in Guam in the first place is to see if these two systems can work together. The testing aims to determine whether data from both systems can be transmitted back to Hawaii in a way that allows them to function alongside each other. THAAD is designed to detect and intercept ballistic missiles, like some of the nukes developed by North Korea and China. But it's not designed to intercept short-range threats, like cruise missiles, which fly on flat, direct paths that are more difficult for missile defense radars to pick up. So systems like the Iron Dome could potentially fill that gap. We always like to operate layered, uh, so we never want just one layer of defense, so multiple layers is something that we're always looking to achieve. So far, the military says the Iron Dome has shown encouraging results in terms of integrating with that, and it has worked well in Guam's hot and humid environment. Plus, the testing being done here could help inform a new defense system being developed for the Army by Dynetics, since the military doesn't plan to buy additional Iron Domes. Did we have anything at this lower level before Iron Dome? We have other air defense systems, um, but we don't have a lot of them in our arsenal. So the more that we're able to use and employ, um, the more flexibility we have with defense and planning. The Iron Dome is scheduled to return to the mainland in December, and the data from the testing will be analyzed as part of a bigger plan to achieve a 360-degree defense of Guam.